NASCAR Angels. Let's go get them. Let's go. It's the show that celebrates people who help others. Every week with America's very best race drivers, we help some very special people with their car repairs. I'm Rusty Wallace. And I'm Shannon Wiseman. We're at Phoenix International Raceway this week. And you're watching NASCAR Angels. Today on NASCAR Angels, Stanton Barrett, Hollywood meets NASCAR. Stanton's a stuntman, motocross rider, and NASCAR driver. He runs in the Bush Series, and this week, he's making the assignment for the NASCAR Angels. This week, we're with Stanton Barrett, motorcycle racer, stock car driver, stuntman. Man, you've done it all. I'll tell you what. But this weekend, you're in charge of the NASCAR Angels. What's our assignment? Well, I've done a lot of extreme sports, and we have an extreme excitement this weekend. We have a father and son who do motocross and passionate about NASCAR like we are, and they need some help. Just like NASCAR, motocross is a family sport. Just ask Tony Martinez and his son Damien. Tony loves watching Damien race. Tony's a single dad. He works two jobs to make ends meet. Rusty, we have Tony's 1989 caravan that he uses to get Damien's bike to the racetrack every weekend. It has some serious problems. We need you and NASCAR Angels to try to fix it. Can you help us? Stan, you can count on us. We'll get it done. In the sport of motocross, you need speed, skills, and most of all, dedication and discipline. Are you ready to go? Yeah. All things that Tony Martinez is trying to teach his son, Damien. In the sport of motocross, of the relationship between a father and a son. One more. The father and son will bond even if they don't want to bond. I like motocross because of the adrenaline rush you get. And the way you feel when you're, how high you're flying. The speeds that you're going at, it just feels real fun just to do that. It's like nothing I've ever done before. And it's that love of the sport that keeps Damien grounded despite his surroundings. It's real hard to grow up where I live because there's so many troublemakers and there's only a few people that have, that can get close to success. And drugs is like a real big part of my town because I live in a small place. My main role is to keep him focused, is to keep him looking straight ahead, keep him headed, headed for success. Tony is a single dad who sacrifices everything to keep his 13-year-old son on the right track. Damien really means a lot to Tony is I know he's a single dad and um, he you know the town that they're in a lot of kids stray off and and Damien's really strong and Tony just believes in that kid Tony works two jobs days here at the Arizona cycle park and nights as a security guard all in an effort to keep Damien in the expensive sport of motocross it's, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. You know, if one day he winds up in college and uh, enrolling for college and he made it all through high school, he made it all through junior high and everything, and motocross kept him out of trouble, then motocross gave us way more than what we put into it. And racing is just the backdrop that weaves the bond of this father and son even tighter. The greatest lesson he's taught me is to try to succeed in life and not to just try to take the easy way, to take the hard way. When my son does something kind for someone, that's, those, those are proud moments. Now transportation is key in the sport, and Tony's 1989 caravan just isn't cutting it. I've never seen a worse looking vehicle than that, really, other than at the junkyard. <laughs> well, we call it the Great Ghost. Nobody in my neighborhood ever has any mosquitoes because the smoke from my exhaust just chases them away. Friends at the track say if Tony's van could get a new lease on life, it would mean everything to this father and son. It's going to lift the burden off of him of his day-to-day -day vehicle um, so he can have more fun with his kid and his dirt bike. It's time to get Tony's van ready for its second life. 
So the guys at A&D Auto Body are going to give it its new look. We're just cleaning it up so we can get ready to mask it. It's coming along. It's coming along. We're going to two-tone this vehicle. we got to put a dark gray on the bottom, dark gray around the windows. We're going to spray that first, let it dry for about 30 minutes. After that, then we'll do the second color, which is the main color, which is silver. Getting this vehicle ready to spray the silver on. Now that the van is painted, it's time for Louis's complete auto interiors to give the inside a little TLC. We have had Tony's upholstery already fixed, so now is the most crucial time. It's time to visit our NASCAR Angels and get this puppy back in order. All right, where are my NASCAR Angels? Here are my NASCAR Angels. We've got Pat, Andre, Steve, and Joe. Now, we're in the city named after Goodyear, Goodyear, Arizona, and Pat's going to tell us what they're going to do to Tony's van. Shannon, we're going to check the van out from front to back and fix anything that needs to be replaced. Right, we appreciate that. So, Jim and I, Automotive Care Team, are you ready? We are ready. All right, let's fix this van. Hop to it. Still ahead on NASCAR Angels. The Jim and I team gets to work on Tony's engine, but can it be saved with more than 250,000 miles on it? And I get a lesson from Damien in motocross racing.